Um, can everybody hear me? Yes. yes? Okay, great. <laughs> um, so again, thank you so much Rabbi Shemto for the warm welcome and to all of you for being here. This is spectacular. I've never seen anything like this in my life. I wasn't at the last one, so I'm extremely thankful to everybody who helped organize this, especially to the Shemto family and my board. So um, I'd like to get started. So I'll open with a quote by the Jewish poet, Chaim Nachman Bialis. He once said that without the Sabbath, there would be no godliness and no semblance of humanity in the world. We are gathered tonight during a time that demands humanity's finest attributes. Clarity between good and evil in the aftermath of October 7th, calls for empathy and acts of compassion. We are gathered on the cusp of the Jewish holiday of Pesach, commemorating the Israelites' exodus from Egypt, their miraculous journey from slavery to freedom, from a people to a great nation. In this convergence of events, I find a profound peak of significance that imbues life with all of its meaning. From the tragedy of October 7th, we learn to cherish every moment with our loved ones and never take our homeland, the state of Israel, or our heritage for granted. From Pesach, we inherit resilience, perseverance, and the dual nature of freedom, a force that can be used for both good and evil. The commandment of rest on Shabbat is a gift, granting sharpness and a drive to continue pursuing our freedoms and aspirations positively and passionately. Jewish history and legacy are marked by an unwavering pursuit of opportunity and light, even amidst the darkest of times. Yet, in our relentless pursuit, we recognize the importance of rest, a testament to the Jewish value for human life and wellness. Without wellness, we all know that we enter into a spiral of burnout, and we don't take the time to truly live, to convene in prayer and song, feeding our souls. This purification, this quiet, acts as both our shield and our heart. It is a shield like that of David that empowers us to tackle challenges with renewed vigor and vigilance. As we approach Pesach, we are reminded of the imperative to embrace rest as a means of directing our freedom assertively and responsibly. Freedom, we realize, entails the responsibility, it entails the responsibility to rest, to gain the inspiration to cultivate our leadership, our confidence, and our courage. As Lord Rabbi Jonathan Sachs once said, few things make a leader more unpopular than the pursuit of popularity. Great leaders have the courage to face unpopularity. We face difficult and troubling times. Anti-Semitism spiking globally, a war raging in Israel and in Gaza, and 133 of our hostages still held in Hamas's captivity. It is upon us to be proactive rather than passive. Never shy away, never cower. As the name Israel demands of us, Chazak Be'ematz, strong and courageous. If you want to save the world, go home and love your family. Chabad GW has been that nurturing family for me since the beginning of my college days, where I found the intersection of my love for Judaism and Israel most vibrant and valuable. It is in this home where I've been guided along the path of moral courage, that has provided me the platform to amplify my voice and passion for Judaism, the Jewish people, and the Jewish state. Just as what makes Israel so strong is that family is its civic religion, we must do the same, uniting in community, like family, where we have not only the dream, but the will to dance again and to dance always. Thank you so much, and with that, Shabbat Shalom.